Okay, everyone. Everyone, it's time to man up. It's time to get ready. We gotta fight a fucking shark. I'm gonna try to unload it into this combat shotgun, and then we're gonna switch to the handgun, try to fill it up. I got two healing items. You think this should be enough to kill the shark? I hope so. Let's find out. Oh, there's fucking two of them. There's two sharks! I killed one. There's three sharks. I killed two. There's a third shark down there. Where is it? It's in the center. Can I shoot it from here? Is it cold? Oh, no! It's Jaws! It's fucking Jaws! Oh shit, I almost pooped. It's time to run, dude. Oh my. Oh my. Ho ho, Nelly. That was a big old shark. We killed the two little boys. Oh, my booty was thoroughly clenched. Absolutely. There was absolutely no air pressure moving. Nothing coming in my butt. Damn, dude. All right, there's items in here. Morning Lightning Kids is an emergency. Yeah, I'll fucking say. Did you see the fucking sharks? Real Take Sports to the Super Chat saying, Boy, the Ken Wig and the paint a number 12 on your shirt for a tier 3? No. No Real Take Sports. Stop that. Oh, fuck. It's right there. The controls for the main system. Everything seems to be in proper order. Error message. This place only appears to have gone wrong while the water was being drained. There's a switch to drain the water. Press it. Yes. Emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. What does that mean? Cannot resume drainage. Well, this is not good. I don't know what I'm doing. He's been dropping oil control. Open valve number three. We have to open valve number three where the fuck are the valves? Of pressure threshold. This is not the time. Where's the valves? How the fuck do I know where the valves are? Are they upstairs? In the other area I didn't go to yet? Are they in this room? There's no valves here. I don't understand. None of these work. How do I do the safe? What's the safety? Reaching 50% of pressure threshold. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. I need number three. Is this number three? What does that even mean? I don't know what to do. This is bullshit. How do you restore Reaching oil pressure and release the safety? Pressure Fuck pressure. this game. This is terrible. And it's time that you don't know what you're doing. Reaching 90% of pressure threshold. I can't even do anything. We're done. We're dead. <laughs> this is dog. I gotta do the whole thing again. We're done. I gotta do the whole thing over. Because the game is not self explanatory and there's no idea what to do. And just all these buttons, nothing does anything. What a piece of shit. Look. 
How do I restore oil pressure, you dumb fucking game? You're so dumb. How do I do it? How do I do it? It doesn't explain how you restore oil pressure. Reaching what is this? Pressure threshold. That puzzle is not in the original. It's new for this, and it's stupid as fuck. Now I gotta do the whole thing over. Maybe I can avoid the sharks entirely? Do you think I can avoid them and not have to fight them? I could try that. I don't know what they want you to do. There's no way to figure out the order to do anything in that room. It's just random shit. There's no instructions, right? So it's like, how do I fucking know what I'm doing? You do, you literally don't. You just fucking fuck around. <laughs> it's insanely stupid. The, the sharks were in the original, but not that puzzle. That puzzle was not in the original game. I think you don't have to kill the sharks. I think you can just run by them, get to the control room, and then if you do this, the, the puzzle, I think you're good. No, I don't know how to do the puzzle. I have no clue. What did I do wrong? I don't know. I have no idea what else I was supposed to do. Because it said that it was fucked up and I had to do something with oil pressure. So I did, and I went back, and everything looked the same. Like I hadn't ever done anything. So I don't think I did the puzzle at all, actually. I don't know. I don't even know. So, I mean, it's a, it's a very... It's a crappy puzzle. It's not designed very well. The puzzle's from 2003 when this came out or whatever. And the wording isn't right, so you don't really understand it. Mm. I'm going to try to avoid the sharks entirely and not fight them. I think I might be able to get by them. Okay. MKASP had done a super chest that I should have went to should have should, should have pooped during my bathroom break. <laughs> that way I wouldn't poop myself during that segment. Okay. I was correct. I was absolutely correct. I didn't need to do it. I didn't need to fight them. Sweet. box. Raccoon herb. Mix of two green herbs inside. Cool. Can't do this till the water's drained. Okay. So we gotta do the puzzle again. Okay. Emergency. 
emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Actually, the alarm releases ABS. Okay. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Okay, oil loss. Got to do the oil pressure. Let's go do that. No! Three. It always said to press three. It says always press three. Reaching 50% of pressure threshold. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. Okay. Can we do it? I guess we did it. Drain the water. We did it. It wasn't as hard as it seemed. It's just confusing wording, that's all. All right, the water is drained, we're good to go. So now the thing is, we could go down here, or we go back up, there was a door that we had skipped up there. I don't know if we should go down or up, honestly. I don't know, uh, there might be items up top that we missed. Now that the sharks are up there, we just walk around them, I think, right? So thank you to MKASP Real Take Sports with another super chat yet again talking about Tom Brady. I'm just going to ignore it and just say thanks for the super chat because no one wants to hear about fucking Tom Brady anymore. We're tired of it. And it just gets to the point where it's just so obnoxious and had enough. So thanks for the super chat. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, 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 uh. Now, wait a minute. It says there's an item in here. Oh. Map of the Aqua Ring. Take it. So here's where... There was a room over there we didn't go to yet that we could investigate. And then if we go further down, there's more. So we should actually go investigate the room first. Only because we might be missing something if we don't. So let's go back up and investigate the room. Astronaut, you're welcome. He says, thanks. Let's start talking about Tom Brady. <laughs> um, Leon tipped me a dollar. You want another co-op Resident Evil game? See, I think the co-op Resident Evil games are fine as long as they're also making more classic Resident Evil games. Like, there was nothing wrong with Resident Evil 5 and 6. The problem was that was Resident Evil. And people were like, nah, that's not. It's, you know, <clears throat> it's an action game. It's got horror elements, but it's just not classic Resident Evil. And that's what people wanted. That's why people were so upset when those became the mainstream games, right? So, I feel like if they made more of those co-op shooters, they'd be great. They probably would sell decently. But, uh... They basically got to keep making classic Resident Evil 2 to, to appeal appeal to everyone. By the way, look. They're flopping around. That's funny. Guard room. The sharks are a-flopping. Oh! Looks like we gotta come back here later. We must have to find a way to kill the plant. And if we kill the plant, its roots will be dead. And then we can come back down here. And then we can see what was in this room. There is absolutely no way that we can get past those tentacles right now. As you can see, there's something in the corner, but there's no way we'll access it. So, now we know at least, right? Mishael did a super chat. Says, thanks for the chat for the help. Huh? What do you mean? For the puzzle? I was just fucking around. I, I did not read any chat help for the puzzle. <laughs> I really didn't. I did not understand. I was just fucking around until I figured it out. But it really frustrated me that the camera angles were so bad. Uh, sadly, that's why I died the first time. Because I didn't know where I was going. I was running in circles like an idiot. Okay. Let's go down. Let's see what's down here now. Hopefully this is all right, because we didn't go to the spider room yet, and I don't know if we needed to go to the spider room for anything. I hope we don't have to backtrack all the fucking way. You were trying to help? Yeah, but I was ignoring people. I don't want spoilers. 
Am I going to play the, the new Yakuza game like the Dragon Ishin? Maybe, Guts? I don't know. I haven't gone through new release games yet. I'm going to do that soon, but not yet. The fuck is this room? The materials are labeled dynamite. They're soaked beyond use. Oh, yeah. I will definitely take some shotgun shells, baby. Now we're in business. That was a good find. Okay. Two ways to go. Shall we try this one first? What the fuck is down here? Is the giant shark down here? Oh shit, it might be. Oh god. This is scary shit, dude. Oh, it flopped! It's flopping, it's flipping! <laughs> Great. He's flipping and flopping. Holy shit. Oh, God. There's the big one. That's definitely the big boy. Oh, man. Oh, no. This is scary shit, dude. It doesn't have power. You asshole! The generator unit for the waterfall can show us to pull the lever? Yeah. Fucking thing just hurt me. It hurt me. How do I do this? Jade, you going to bed? All right, sounds good. Have a good night, man. Now let's kill this fucker. Yeah! A shocking delivery system. Fuck you. We got a residence key. It's for the other door I bet that I couldn't open before. The gallery key. Nice. And we're good. That's it. That's all the items. That's all we needed. We came down here for the gallery key. Sweet. By the way, a tip has come in, but please allow me to get the fuck out of this room before I shout it out. <laughs> please let me get out. God damn. I can't believe I took damage from touching that stupid thing. That pisses me off, actually. Ugh. 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 All right, so now we're obviously going to go this way. This is the one way we haven't gone yet. Um, all right, shout out to... It looks like this is Little Crow again. Thank you, Little Crow, for another $5.16 uh, tip. Thank you, Little Crow. With that, we are at $57 in tips. We are working our way towards 100 Thank you very much. Little Crow for the support. Okay. 
MKASP just did a super chat. Says, how's Jasper doing? He's doing fine. He's hanging out with Cat downstairs. I believe Cat's playing some Fallout 4 tonight. I would know. I'm not down there, but I think she is. Uh, so there we go. Okay. How was dinner? Pretty good. It was an Italian bake, but it wasn't a chicken parm bake. It was with the chicken meatballs that we used to get, the Italian-style chicken meatballs. And, uh... With some rigatoni, some spicy marinara sauce, chunks of Italian-style seasoned tomatoes, some cheese, and some other seasonings. It was actually quite good. I just got some Magnum rounds, baby. Hell yeah. Now let's see where this goes. We're about to find out. Did I enjoy the first Den Island game? As a co-op game, yes. As a game itself, no. It really was only fun because of the social aspect. If I tried to play that by myself, I probably would have hated that game. But that was one of the very first big-time co-op games. You know, that was over a decade ago, right? Wasn't it like 2010, 2011? So it was actually really fun <clears throat> trying to play with friends online and navigate the island and everything. But the game, honestly, wasn't that good, you know? Um, I got another dollar tip from Barry. So I find it strange Jill hasn't been in a new game since Resident Evil 5 or Revelation 1 besides the remake, while Chris has been in all games since 5. Uh, I think it's because they wrote her out of the story, right? Resident Evil 5, that's her last real mainstream appearance because she got brainwashed and, you know, infected and all of that. And I think she wants no part of the story after that, right? I mean, her, her, her body's all messed up. You unlocked it, okay? Where does this go? Red light makes it look spooky, says Inoshina Reborn. I'm glad you think so. Going for that. Oh, nice. We just looped. We're good. We cleared the whole area. We can go back. Very nice. So that worked out well. Now, I remember, once we kill the plant, we can come down here and go into that room that had the tentacles. But we need to kill the plant first. Yes, I remember the Jason Easter egg in Den Island Riptide. It wasn't Riptide. It was the main game. Remember? Wasn't it the main game that had the Jason guy? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're right. Maybe it was um, Riptide that had it. But the guy that looks like Jason in the woods, he's chasing you through the jungle and shit. Yes, I remember that. Okay. I thought it was the original game. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm misremembering. All right, so the gallery, we got to backtrack here, right? We got to back... There's, that's the gallery. We're right next to it. I feel like we should maybe... Oh, man. We gotta unload, because I don't have the Magnum, so I definitely want to get rid of the Magnum ammo, so that way I'm not wasting inventory space before we go into the gallery. Okay. Let's go back to the save room and just do some inventory management, and then we'll go into the gallery and see what's in there. Slayer so says, I think it was the main game because it was full co-op when, when it happened, and it was definitely the regular game, not Riptide. Oh my god, there's just no way past it. There's literally no way past this tentacle. It's gonna grab me every fucking time, so I have to waste a healing item now. Well, it is what it is, I guess. It just gets me every fucking time. There's not there's not a second box. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think there is a way past it. I think if you push the box over that hole. You could then climb the box and always go over that step. I think there's a way. I think there is a way to do it. Now that I'm thinking about it. Anyway, let's uh, let's heal up, right? If it's only caution, this should heal. Yes, it was just caution. It wasn't danger. Danger means you need the full healing. All right, so let's get this in here. And I think. I should keep what I have. I don't think I'm going to get anything. I'm just going to keep one healing item and the three guns. That's it. Uh, Shadow King says, I did do co-op for the Riptide in the original. No, no, no. I tried. If you remember, we were trying to do co-op for Riptide, and we couldn't get, like, Grog couldn't even work, and then Mayor McJustin wasn't available for half the time. So, basically, the first game playthrough, the entire playthrough was co-op. The Riptide playthrough didn't go as well. <laughs> we had a lot of problems. So here's what I'm thinking. Push the box into the hallway. Push it over where that second tentacle is grabbing us. And then always climb that box. Here's what I'm thinking. Uh. 
I knew that was going to happen. But I think this is going to allow me to not get grabbed anymore if I do this. Okay. Oh, shoot. I pushed it too far. I may be able to, to save it. Mishael says, I have a great community. Thank you for the super chat, Mishael. I agree. I love my community. You guys are awesome. I saved it. I think I salvaged it. Gamer guys, am I looking forward to Hogwarts Legacy? Oh, uh, maybe. I, I, I'm hoping it's good. I've never played a Harry Potter game before. I'm hoping Hogwarts Legacy is, is good. And if it is, great. Then I'll have a, a Harry Potter game under my repertoire. You know, I've been playing for 15 years. There hasn't been one. That'd be pretty sweet. Okay, now do this. Now let's test and see if it works. Ready? It works! Now we can skip the tentacles entirely and we'll never get grabbed again. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Yes. Sucks I had to get grabbed one more time to do it, but we got it. Okay. Let's go to the gallery. <clears throat> Hello, Mateo. Good evening. Did I watch all the Harry Potter movies? Yes, I've seen them all. At least once. Now, what's in the gallery? I have no recollection. Let's find out. Guys, we've got about half an hour left on stream, just so you know. Thank you for being a great audience tonight. Again, if you were thinking of supporting the stream, it would be a great time to do so now, since we don't want to run out of time before we have time for rewards, okay? Look at the deluxe game for Hogwarts. Joseo, I know nothing about the Hogwarts deluxes or nothing. I'm Again, you guys are way ahead of me. I keep telling you. But here's my mindset. <clears throat> Finish the current games I'm playing. We just finished God of War. Tomorrow is likely the end of Pokemon. Year-end series on Sunday, okay? Then, look at the game release schedule Monday or Tuesday, you know, for the for the Level 1 podcast. Then start figuring everything else out. You guys keep asking me questions about games this year. I don't know anything. You're, you're so far ahead of me and wasting time asking me these questions because I don't know anything about this shit. Oh, there's bees! How do I use this? Use, examine, combine. You can't equip it and you can't use it. Yeah, so I can't, I can't stop the bugs. That's a good tip. Thank you. Someone just gave me a huge tip on how to do this. And I appreciate that because I probably wouldn't have figured it out. There's a hole in the wall at the end of the hallway. Thank you, gamer guy. I would have never figured that shit out if you didn't just tell me that. I would have been going in circles for the rest of tonight. It's this right here. Look. Gamer guy, that was incredibly useful. Thank you so much. Like I said, I probably never would have figured that out 
and I would have been running in circles all night saying, how do I get past these bugs? <laughs> uh, MKASP did a super chat. He said, you're a little wild, a little strange when you make your home on the range. Start your horse and come along, but you can't get a ride if you can't hold on. You're talking about you be kai yeah, yeah, you be kai yeah, you bought like the cowboys say. You be kai yeah, yeah, you get along little doggies till the break of day. Look out for the man eating jackrabbits and the killer cacti. Hey, dude. Is that what you're talking about? Oh. We got the residence key. 003 residence key. Now we can open up the door over here and see what's inside. But we will abide by the survival techniques. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Woo! So thank you, MKASP, for the super chat, by the way. Okay. We are in the third room. There's another bathroom. There's a typewriter. Really? A typewriter. An old-fashioned, high-quality bed. Oh! Your view is bought by a sense ticket of trees. A giant plane is crushing the wall. A swarm of angry moth surrounds it. That's creepy. Old maps tossed in the wastebasket. They look like roll maps, but they're of no use. What's this? Shovel's lined with red books. There's one with a white book. Take it. Yes. Organic chemistry lab experiment. Here we go. We got to learn about chemistry, how to make the chemical to kill the plant, if I remember correctly. All right. You ready? Here we go. The similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We have given UMB number 20 a new name, V-Jolt. If calculations are proved correct, then the V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant. The entire plant should be dead within five seconds. I think we know where the root of the plant is because we already found it, remember? Remember where it was? Okay. The V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these chemicals. They have been known to general generate toxic gases if mishandled. <coughs> oh, God. So... So you have to mix VP and UMB in a specific ratio. And here's our, our colors. I'm thinking I should take a picture of this. Okay, I've got those colors down. We don't know the ratio, but we know the colors, all right? <clears throat> this room's clear, but there could be something in the bathroom. Let's find out. Real Take Sports to the Super Chats. The Super Chats crushing it tonight just like Brady. <laughs> There's nothing in here, according to this. It's an empty room. So if you remember where the roots are, the roots are down in the basement, right? Where we already were, the V-ring or whatever it was called, the aqua ring. And if we get the, the chemical, we can drug the, the roots from down there and hopefully kill the whole big plant off. So Now here's the question. How do we make the chemical? Because look, the lock mechanism for the door, use it. We don't know that we don't know the code. We have no idea. I get the feeling the code for the door is in the spider room. The one room we didn't go in yet and do anything in, we probably got to go in there, kill the fucking spider or spiders, investigate the room. It'll probably have the code for this door. That allows us then 
to get the, the chemical. We go down to Aqua Ring, right? We kill the plant, we come back, and other things have now probably been exposed. That's my guess. Okay? I received a $5 tip. From Donnie Watts. He says, I'm loving your stream. Thanks for always being good and enjoyable content. You are the man. Thank you, Donnie Watts. You indeed are also the man. We're both the man. That's pretty amazing that there could be two men. <laughs> anyway, thank you for the $5 tip. That gets us to 63 tonight. Again, heading towards 100, but we are running out of time. We only have about 20 minutes left on the stream, and I'm desperate at this point because we didn't find any new ink ribbons. I can only save one more time. I'm wondering how I'm going to kill these spiders. Um... I have 10 shotgun shells. Never mind. I should be able to kill the spiders with the shotgun shells. But you know what I should do? I should go get some of the blue herbs. Because if the spider does bite you, I believe it poisons you. And we don't want to have poison. So I think we should go back to the save room. Get that blue... Get one or two blue herbs. Probably one. Right? Right? Oh, shit. Let's get a blue herb. I was right, by the way. Now I have no tentacle grabbing, which is excellent. Now I'm not going to get attacked anymore. And uh, we're going to try to fight these fucking spiders, man. There's going to be one right above me, so if I run into the room, I should be able to turn around and shotgun the fucker. Shit, this fucking camera angle still pisses me off. Come on! Fuck really annoying. <clears throat> okay. I'm just going to take one. I think that's enough. Am I going to do a golden eye playthrough? I don't even know what you're talking about. Was golden eye coming out? Again, how about this? Everyone, please stop asking me about what games I'm playing this year. I literally don't know. <laughs> I've, I've said it 10 times tonight. I have no idea. I haven't looked at the game release schedule. I don't know what's possible. Asking me that question is a waste of time. Right now, I know I'm playing Dead Space Remake. I know I'm playing One Piece Odyssey. And that's it. That's literally all I know. Okay? <clears throat> okay. It's time to kill these fucking spiders. Where'd it go? Oh, shit. Where did it go? Oh, I don't like this. Come here. Whew. Okay. Not bad. But we got more to kill. Only two shots to kill that one. I don't know what the fuck that is on the wall right there. <laughs> oh, red oil lamp. It's not lit. Oh, shit. Let me guess. I need my lighter. All right. Let me clear the room of spiders first. There's another green herb right here. What's it doing? Is it dead? Jesus Christ. This is a weird fucking room. Arm wrestling tournament? What the hell is that? Come on, man. Ass. Asses of fire. Where's the spider? Is it on the stairs? The spider's on the stairs now. There's a bunch of fucking pool balls. I can't do this right now. I then need the lighter. But I need to kill these fucking spiders first. Where is it? I can't see. I can't fucking see the spider because the camera angle sucks so bad. There's so many items in here. <laughs> no, I know what's in it. What's this? 
I guess I'll take the red book. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's a book with a red cover. Nothing is printed on the pages. Is there a special way to use it? It's a good question. An unprinted book. Bandage with blood? Do we have to go back to the room with the white book and replace it with this red book? Maybe. So I need the lighter, for sure. I think what will happen is with the lighter, it'll solve the puzzle. I'll be able to know what I need to do for the combination in that other room. The problem is, I can't grab everything here. See, I'm going to run out no matter what. I guess I should just grab an herb for now. So this room is a dead end. It is. And the, uh, the, uh, the answer is in here. But we need the lighter. Interesting. Real Take Sports to the Super Chat. If football players went into wrestling, are you watching? No. I don't watch wrestling. Is it the same as gameplay as the original besides graphics as Donnie Watts? No. There's a lot of added content, a lot of new puzzles. This is significantly longer than the original game. So. Alright. We can probably use this book over in the gallery room. In room 003, I'm pretty sure if we put it on the shelf, something will happen. Right? We can actually now put the guns gun away because now I have shotgun ammo. Oh, I need the fucking lighter. I'm so stupid. That's the whole reason I came here was the lighter. Okay. We gotta go back to the sp to the well, we can go back to the spider room and find the answer to the puzzle. Then we gotta go back to the gallery room regardless. Okay. The spider's body is gone. Interesting. Okay, so now what? Strange silhouette hovers in the reddish light. So it's red, and it's it's a red eye, and it looks like a cat's eye. Right? It's open, and it looks like a cat's eye. Could have some kind of meaning. Yes. Absolutely, it's going to have a meaning. Okay. Okay. So, red, open, cat's-style eye. Okay, orange, eye with no pupil. See that? So, red was open cat eye. Orange is eye with no pupil. Nothing significant about the order. Could this be the order of chemicals? Maybe it's the order of chemicals? Orange was pupilless eye, red was cat's eye. Green is human regular eye. Okay. So, red cat eye, orange pupilless, green regular human eye. We're done. We can get the fuck out of here. We never have to come back. Good.
Get me out of the spider room. At least we only had to kill one spider. That's a plus. Oh, man. Wait, what? Count the lines on the eye pictures. They signify a number, then the color for the ball. This is stupid. This this was not in the original game. I can tell you right now, the human eye only had two. And it was green. And it was a human eye. I know that. None. Right? Zero. Or is that two? This is, this is the dumbest fucking shit ever. I'm just going to take a picture of it all then. Seriously. It's so dumb. It shouldn't be like this at all. This is so fucking waste of my time. It's a bad puzzle. The original Resident Evil one didn't have this puzzle. This is a shit puzzle. Completely shit puzzle. Willow, have a good night. See you tomorrow. This is why this game is so long, because the puzzles suck. Yep, look. Now, what the fuck is that supposed to be? I don't know. You tell me. Are those eyelashes? Does it count as two? What does that count as? Who the fuck would know? I certainly don't. Dumb. It's a really dumb puzzle. Jill took me a dollar. What do you want? Resident Evil 9? Uh, man. I would really like it to tie back to the old games better. Like, I liked Resident Evil 7 and 8, but man, they were so loosely affiliated with the classic Resident Evils. I really want something tying back to the lore. I mean, that's what... Why call it Resident Evil if it really just isn't Resident Evil anymore, right? That is what I don't get. Like, I understand, okay, we want the name recognition, but just name it a different series and say, okay, it's in the same universe, but it's not the same. Because right now, the game plots are so far away that I don't feel like they're really that significant anymore. You know what I mean? So, all right, let's go and load all these fucking items. We don't need the lighter. We don't need any of this shit. Okay. All right, we don't need a lighter anymore. We certainly don't need a first aid spray. The red book, I feel like we're gonna use in that room. We don't need this. Yeah, I think we're gonna use the red book. So I think everything else we should keep. Actually, I don't even think we need the, we don't need that anymore either. We're not gonna get poisoned. We got past the spiders, right? So I think we're all right. Okay. Real take sports to the super chase of the puzzles like how the Browns traded for Watson. I don't even know what that means. I have no clue. Thank you for the super chat. Will it will I, will I chance to save? No, not yet. I'm not saving till the very end of tonight. We still got about 15 minutes left on the stream, and that's what I'm gonna save the very end because I, I only have one ink ribbon left, so I'm not fucking her with it. I am not fucking with it. Right now I'm good. I got healing and everything, so I'm not too worried. <clears throat> Donnie Watts is he playing Resident Evil 2 remake right now? Amazing game. That was why it was it was my game of the year that year because it was so good. Okay. So. Okay. So we have pupilless eye. The pupilless eye was <clears throat> orange. And orange corresponds to a pool ball that has the number five. The second eye is the one that has a human pupil. That one was green, and that corresponds to the pool ball that's the left number six. And then the cat's eye was red. That corresponds to the pool ball that's the number three. Why did they let you enter the numbers and have no effect? That was incredibly stupid. <laughs> right? That was really dumb. 
Okay. I should go use the book first. That way the book will be out of my inventory. Because I think, I think I need to pick up a lot of shit in this room. <clears throat> now Real Take Sports is Super Chase's Watson is LTG. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Real Take Sports. I really have no clue how you're comparing people to LTG. I don't care. Thanks for the Super Chat, though. Alright. I think this is where we use the book. Right here. Yeah, see? <clears throat> yep. Yep. <clears throat> We order the books. Okay. Uh this goes here. Right? Basically it has to be a body lying down. So that's it. So is this the room where you make it? I think it is. I think this is the room where you make the potion. Actually, I don't know. Let's find out, right? What's in here? <clears throat> I might need to run. <clears throat> no! It's the plant room? was bad. You can't fight it until it's poisoned. Well, now we know what's in there, and I didn't take damage. That could have gone way worse, right? <laughs> so I'm okay. Now we can actually enter at ground level, too. See that? Okay. Good. <clears throat> By the way, I forgot that there was a red herb in this room. All right. Actually, I think we can pick up the red herb now. Oh, yeah. Gamer Guy says you can fight it with other chemicals if you want. It's just way harder. Now nah, we're going to use the chemicals. Fuck that. Mishael did a super chase. This is great gameplay. Thank you, Mishael. All right. So... Yikes, there's a lot of shit in here, huh? Empty bottles. We need four empty bottles. Now we need to find... There's got to be a book somewhere that explains how to make the, the stuff. Because right now I see the acid. And I see this chemical. What about... Is there anything on the wall here? There's something written on the wall. One... Oh, God. <laughs> okay. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 6 is 10. 1 plus 6 is 7. Then 10 plus 7 is 17. 17 plus 3 is 20. Let me delete all the other shit first that we don't need anymore. Delete, delete, delete. Delete the poo balls. So here we go. UMB number 3 is red. Yellow 6 is yellow. UMB number 7 is green. So you need 1 plus 3 to make a 4. 4 plus 6 to make a 10. 1 plus 3 to make a 4. Well, 3 is red. What's 1? What is 1? Water? Perhaps 1 is water? Then you add the water plus the yellow, that gets a 10. Then you add water plus 6, which is the yellow. That gives you a 7, and you add those two together. Yeah, I think so. I think that's what it is. I smoke crack. There's super chase. Itchy, tasty, yummy crack. Tasty. Okay. So I think we need some water. That's That's got to be one. Okay, and then we got to get... <clears throat> it says three is red. And you got to do one plus three to make four. <clears throat> So that's purple. So that's four. 
okay? Four plus six is 10. Well, six is yellow. Here's our yellow right here. <clears throat> So that's 10, okay? Now we need to make one plus six to make seven. So water plus the yellow. There we go. Okay, so we got green. So that's seven, seven plus 10 is 17. So we combine these two. Then we combine 17 with three to make 20 and three remember was the red. Vigil, done. We actually didn't need mo most of these, right? We didn't need all of them. We only needed two. I think you only needed two at once ever, right? Or maybe you needed three. You needed three. I don't think you needed the fourth. Yeah, I don't think you needed the fourth. All right, we did it. And now we just got to go back down to where those roots were, right? In the in the basement, the aqua ring. And uh, I think we apply it down there. Okay. Real Tech Sports said a super chat. Do you watch the movie Varsity Blues with Billy Bob? I don't think I've ever seen that one. No. I don't think so. All right. We uh, we got it done. We got to go down to the basement, poison the root. And probably that would be a good place to save. And then next time around we fight the boss because we're going to be out of time any minute now, guys. So let's... uh, We got to go all the way back down to the aqua ring. I got to remember how to do that. That's this way. Where'd the time go? You saw today, all we did, we were in this 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 one building. Like, this building is incredibly time-consuming. And in the original game, it's not. Like, I remember a lot of this stuff. Like, there's definitely the potion to kill the plant. But this is, like, way overcomplicated with the whole uh, extra added steps and ways to do this. The, the whole spider room with the lights and shit. That's all new. So they basically made it way more complicated. Nope, we gotta go this way. Oh! We gotta go back the other way. We gotta backtrack. <laughs> the water's gone. When does this continue? Sunday night. Sunday night is the next installment of Resident Evil Remake. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Exactly. So this was Friday Night Frights, and now we're going to have Sunday Night Frights. That's exactly right. All these frights. So much backtracking. Seriously. So much backtracking. We're going all the way here just to kill the roots. What a pain. Donnie Watts, have a good night. Thanks for stopping by, man. Supporting as usual. Hello, David G. We're almost done, guys. Like, another five minutes, we're just killing the roots, and then we're probably going to save. Then tomorrow, or excuse me, Sunday night, is when we're going to continue on and fight the plant boss and all that. The thing's still alive. It's ridiculous. It's still alive. Or you call it Sunday night bites because the zombie's biting? That's true, too, I guess. Time to kill them roots. Bye bye. You probably don't need the bottle anymore. Throw it away. Yes. Just threw all the bottles away. There's nothing in this room, right? That was it. It was just kill the roots. Looks like the control system for the water tank, but it's broken and can't be used now. Uh, all right. So now when we fight this fucking thing, it's gonna be way more exposed. You know, remember normally we'd have all that box armor or whatever. Now you should be able to run up and shoot it in its weak point a few times. That should be the end of it. <clears throat> Only bummer is we gotta backtrack again all the way back. All the way back. Oh, man. 
pain in the butt. Okay. <laughs> no super real vibes. See you tomorrow. Little Crow did a super chat. He says, DSP poisons plant and the plant says, Why am I toxic? <laughs> the light looked good tonight, no? The ambient lighting looked really good tonight. I don't know why it looks so good tonight and didn't look as good the other day, but doesn't it look much better? I think it looks way better tonight with the red wall behind me, right? And like I said, the, um... The ring light is supposed to arrive tomorrow. So whenever the ring light arrives, we'll see if it helps even more, you know, for better lighting. Wait a minute. Now now I'm confused. I came from there. We're going this way. Uh, yeah, we're supposed to get the ring light at some point tomorrow. It's not they're not guaranteeing it till end of day, so it might not show up till like the, like way too late to use on a stream. I guess we'll see. But I'm curious how this ring light is going to work. So the way, the way the ring light works, it's going to sit on my tripod and my webcam is going to be in the middle of it. So, see how, how well it illuminates me. Once the ring light is here, I'm probably not going to use the lamp anymore. We're probably just going to use the ring light and that's it. Really? Rules that I think the boss just dies on its own. So I don't have to fight it? If that's the case, I might just go right to it now. If I don't have to, because then if it's dead, then I can just save the game after that and then we're good to go if that's what you're saying real take sports did yet another super chat says looks good with the red needs the ken wig with the ring all right so is this true we could just go fight it right now we're gonna find out i guess can I just go fight the fucking plant now? Is it already dead? If not, I just run through the room again. It's not a big deal. Let's find out. Wait a minute. I went the wrong way. I ran right by the room. It was the gallery room I was supposed to go in. Oops. Will I do a ring setup live when I get it? I don't see why not. We'll see when it shows up, I guess. Good night, uh, MKASP. Thanks for the super chats. Appreciate the support. So, do we just go in the door? The door's open now, right? Let's find out what happens. <laughs> Sucker. Oh, come on. Seriously? Is this where Barry saves you? Yep. What the hell is this thing? Barry, Barry I don't know. I just stand around for a longer time not shooting the thing. A cutscene kill. <sighs> I thought it was finished. Yeah. That was close. Thanks again. Don't mention it. But what was that? Good night, Michelle. I don't know why you're all taking off before we're done. Place. So cool. The mansion key. Let me guess. It's the final key for the mansion. The key master. Yep. We got the final key, so you know we're going back to the mansion now, right? Is that all that's in here? That is all that's in here. Barry. Something about that mansion still bothers me. 
but I think I'll stay here a little longer. We should split up again and investigate. All right. Right, because we totally trust you. You totally weren't talking to someone before. Anyway, hello, Go Team Venture. How are you tonight? So that's it, guys. We're going to head back to the typewriter room. We're going to save up, and we're done here. Now, the only thing we didn't figure out is the battery, right? Because there's a waterfall, and we need to open that waterfall, and there's definitely something behind it. There's a puzzle with it, but I don't know where you get the battery from. We haven't found a battery this entire time, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. I guess we're going to have to find out. You know what's going to suck is I know when we go back to the mansion, it's just crazy. It's full of monsters, right? Yes, Abdullah, we're playing One Piece Odyssey. It's the one game... Wesker! Wesker! Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. I apologize. It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. I understand. Anyway, it's good that you're safe. Did you notice? Barry, it sounded a little flaky. Now that you mention it, yeah. I'll keep a close eye. Maybe it's quite natural under the circumstances. It's not really our standard operation. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. I agree. There are still rooms in that mansion we can't get into because they're locked up. I've been looking for ways to... Okay, if there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. I'm counting on you. We already have the key. We just got it. All right. What was he shooting at? Like, there was nothing in the hallway. He was shooting at absolutely nothing. <laughs> Anyway, Abdullah, yes, the one game that I'm committed to playing is One Piece Odyssey, and then at the end of the month, there is the uh, remake. Oh, wait a minute, I don't have to worry about the vines anymore. I already killed the fucking thing, right? But uh, at the end of the month, there's uh, the Dead Space remake, and I'm playing that too. But those are the two that I've committed to so far this month. All right. So, that was a lot. We did a lot tonight. We basically cleared the entire back of the mansion, right? The only bummer, we don't have the battery. And without the battery, we can't get the other lift to work. So we can't do the water puzzle and see what's behind the waterfall. I don't know when we get the battery because we don't have it yet. Outside of that, though, uh, we're good. So let's uh, dump everything here. And let's get the ink ribbon and save. And this will be it for tonight. And then we resume uh, Sunday night with more. We keep going. Man, there's a shortage of ink ribbons. Seriously, like, they really are, are scarce on the ink ribbons. All right. Wasn't there a room in the water room behind the vines? A room in the water room behind vines. I have no idea what that means. You're, are you talking... Wait, Little Crow, you talking about the room where we killed the vines? That's how we killed the boss. We poisoned those roots. Little Crow, where were you Where you been? I thought you were here all night. We just did that. <laughs> Little Crow, what's going on with you, man? You didn't see us go kill the vines? We poisoned them. Okay. All right. We're good. So next time around, we backtrack out of here. We go back to the mansion. We explore all the... Uh, helmet door rooms. Um, I just don't know what that when we do that water puzzle. It seems like we don't have uh, the battery to do it yet, and it seems like we're gonna get it at some point. I just don't remember when. Um, but great progress tonight, right? We didn't die, thankfully. No deaths tonight, correct? Or did we die? Wait a minute. I did die, or didn't I? Did I die tonight? We did, didn't we? Did we die once? I think we died once. But I don't remember how we died. Oh, we drowned in the stupid water pressure room. Okay, we died once to a crappy puzzle that wasn't designed very well. Thank you, Mishael, for a $2 tip. He says, great gameplay. Thank you, Mishael. I real take sports to the Super Chest. I like to get one piece. All right, I'm not reading the rest of that. Anyway. <laughs> stupid. Okay, so next time around, we are poised to go back to the mansion, start opening up all the doors, Unfortunately, if I remember correctly, two bad things happen when we go back to the mansion. Bad thing number one, all the regular zombies turned into Crimson Heads. Bad thing number two, I'm almost positive, this is the debut of the Hunters. And the Hunters are bad news. So guys, thank you so much. Great stream tonight. 
Had a great time with you, chill, chilled with you all. Great engagement, great attendance, great support, great everything. Thanks for a great stream. In a couple nights, we resume with more Resident Evil 1 Remake, and I hope to see you then. Thank you all. See you next time.